This is Stephanie at High Tower Stitching with today's quilt, Colors Galore Brick Quilt. Like to show you where we're going to go? This is my Colors Galore Brick Quilt. You can see it's got two different blocks. One is just a solid block. It's seven by ten and a half inches. Then the other one has what I call a little window in it. There are three windows in that block. And it's, you have a lot of choices. Look at your st um, material on your shelf and pick two that go, to, go together. And I just started out, I guess this is going to be sort of a crazy quilt because I did it the size in the magazine. It came from a 20, 2009 American Patchwork Quilt Magazine. This quilt, when you finish, if you do 32 window blocks and 31 solids, will end up being 70 by 54 inches and take four yards of backing. One of the nice things about this quilt is you can make it as small as you want. If you want it bigger than this, you can just add some more onto it. There's a lot of possibilities with this quilt, just not only with the colors you choose, but what you decide to do with the little windows inside. When you get ready to cut your material, you'll need to think what your main color is for that particular block, and you're going to cut ten and a half inch long, three inches wide, three by ten and a half, one for the right hand side and one for the left hand side. And then when you get ready to do the strip in the center with the windows, this is going to be a two inch strip. This is really nice. You're going to take and from that same material, that's why I've got that the same color, you're going to cut a two and a half inch piece and you're going to cut a one and a fourth inch piece and cut that really carefully another one and a fourth inch piece and then finally another to close it off is two and a half inches at the bottom all right and then you remember the ones in the middle those are windows you go pick out the second material that you want to go in the windows it can be light it can be dark um, I tended to go towards darks and mediums instead of going uh, dark and light that will give you one of the blocks and then the other block, if you look over here, is 7 by 10 and a half. A nice piece of um, fabric that really shows up well in there. And you're going to have 30, I cut 32, you're going to have 31 of those. I started making all of these blocks on the side with the colors in them. And I just randomly made them and then just set them in a pile. And then when I got ready to lay out the quilt, I'd lay out a window and skip a space, lay out a window, skip a space, till I had nine across, or seven across, and then, I think it was nine across. But then, I went back with my solid pieces, and I started just adding those anywhere that I wanted those to be. That was a good way to do that. Well, then the next thing I did, when before I got ready to start sewing, was I got out my old styrofoam board with my um, batting on top, which will hold my material in place, and I actually made myself a strip for the middle window. There again, you'll see the two and a half inch, the window, the one and a fourth inch, two, one and a fourth, two, and two and a half. And as I chose my fabric, like for this one, I have chose a brown, then everything that was that same blue color was going to be those blocks. It's going to be the top. It's going to be the window sill. going to be the window sill. going to be the bottom. Then I went and picked out colors that would go in for the windows. And I had so much fun doing that one. It was so peaceful. It was so funny. When I made the first block, then I made the second block and the third block, and I thought, I'm just sailing along here, and this can be done by hand or on the machine. I'm going to go to the machine in a few minutes just for a couple of, give you a couple of hints. But I decided I was going to make one for a little child. And so I went and got some of my kid material and fussy cut who was going to be sitting in the windows for that.
okay, I've started on the first one for the cute kids quilt. And you can see I've got the two and a half, the two inch block, the window seal, the block, the window block, and then the other window block. And the one thing is to be careful and make sure that you're doing a fourth of an inch so that you'll end up with, um, you'll match your side panels. So I've got this one and I'm just going to do it. Now I want to remind you, these are short runs, so use a fabric piece back there to catch those first stitches and then start and then run it. And you can do it one piece at a time, but I actually got where I could chain piece those, then I would have this window set and I'd be working on the next window set and the next and doing them at the same time. And because everything's so distinctively different in color, there was no chance I was gonna put anything in the wrong place. Then when I, once I got my windows done, and this has already been pressed pretty good, and that I just pressed then I took my three and a half inch, and let's see how good we came out. I'm gonna lay it up here on the end and pin it. I found out three pins come in really handy for this and go pin the other end. I could tell that looked like it was pretty good. And then get that last piece and set it in there. And then you're ready to stitch again. But here, even though you've got a long run, to make sure you can keep going, just put that piece of fabric in there to catch those first few stitches. And run it down to the end. The pins really make it work well. You don't have to guess about where it is. And you open it up. And there's the first side of your block. And then I'm going to do the same thing one more time. I'm going to take and lay my fabric on there, turn it over so I can see my blocks, pin at the front or to the top, pin at the end. Most of mine came out pretty close to right. So when, once you get it where you know that you're doing a nice fourth inch, then you, it matches up pretty good from one end to the next. material was sort of light so it wasn't going to matter if my that part didn't do. All right now when I open it up I've made one of the blocks for my next quilt that I'm going to do for that. So at the top of the board I had the three by ten and a half inch pieces for the sides then I had all of the parts that make up the windows, and I can't wait to do this next part to see how all of my characters turn out in their block. I was very pleased with my uh, Dalmatian dogs. And one last look at my colorful new quilt. Uh, we talked about using it as a wall hanging or just, just looking at it because it's got so many colors. And you can see I've already got it laid out and I've got it pinned together so my next problem which are challenge or adventure is to take and decide what in the world am I going to do when I get ready to quilt these blocks. I hope you'll enjoy trying this quilt and having some nice peaceful quilting time. If you like this project please subscribe and like.